G'day guys, it's Billy here from losttreasure.com.au Well guys, big change to the old rubbish dump As you can see guys, I've actually graded all of this area and I've found heaps of stuff guys, heaps of coins, marbles, uh, relics and heaps of other goodies, nice bottles I'd love to show you all my bottles that I find guys, but it's just too too much work to photograph them, I've got so many, thousands and one day when I get set up guys I'll show you all my bottles but anyway so usually what I do is just come out here in the mornings, go for a walk and see what I can find uh, marbles and so forth, heaps of glass stoppers, I've got a heap of marbles in my pocket right now so on average when I come out here I usually find about 10 to 20 marbles a day I've only found about, I don't know, 6 so far so there's just some of the marbles there guys, I've got more but I found some beautiful marbles so I usually come out here like I say in the mornings, come for a walk for an hour or two and just see what I can find on the surface and then towards the end of the day when it gets a bit cooler because it's summer here and the temperatures are getting into the high 30s to 40 degree plus celsius during the day, it's about probably 34 at the moment and yeah so when we get home guys i'll quickly show you some of the stuff that i found and then when i get organized i'll photograph everything properly and show you so it's a big change guys and yeah there's my shovel there so i was just digging for bottles and so forth and anything else i can find because where that shovel is right now is where the dump just see that little patch of grass just there guys that's how far the dump came out just there to the left of the screen and you can just see the little mounds where it goes up and down there's all bottles underneath all that so, so I've got to get digging but what I'm actually waiting for is for it to rain so it can um, wash away a lot of this soil and that way it'll reveal more relics, marbles, coins and so forth here's a nice little glass shopper here well, that one, beautiful. And also at the end of the day guys, the Albany Doctor comes in, it's a sea breeze. And it comes from about 250 kilometres away, you can actually hear the wind coming. And that blows all the dust. So I'll come back out here tonight and I'll show you what happens when the Albany Doctor comes through. There goes a little willy willy, what we call. Or a mini tornado thing, or a whirly bird. Alright guys, we'll keep see ya guys, you can just see that mound where that piece of metal is on the left hand side, it kind of goes up, then down, then up, there's all bottles underneath here, all around here. So like I say, I'm waiting for it to rain guys, because it's so dusty. And as I always say guys, bloody asbestos everywhere, but I'll wear a proper mask and a scarf over my face, I always make sure I'm protected and this here, this little section here I've got a grade and yeah, all underneath here guys, coins canine dog tags, silver coins, hopefully I might find a gold sovereign poison bottles, I haven't found a marble bottle yet guys, there's heaps of broken ones around here but pretty confident I might find a nice marble hopefully, nice marble bottle or a cod and also guys when I'm walking around this area always pick up heaps of copper wire I've got bloody, I don't know 50 plus kilos of copper wire I reckon from this area what I've just picked up, any bits of scrap aluminum, brass I just pick up that's another reason why I come out here just to pick up bits of um, aluminium like that and all copper and brass and copper wire and so forth and all the heavy iron like this I chuck to one side and eventually like I say when it rains I'll come out here and pick it all up and put it in the back of the truck and we'll scrap that and take it up to the city and there's my and old city. this here guys I'm standing in the middle of the mound what used to be the mound and I've braided all the way up there, up there, this area here. There's a lot more to 
gully guys because there's old bottles everywhere that big cactus tree is that's quite modern probably 1940s plus found some beautiful old blue poison bottles over there so I usually come out here about four o'clock and just probably to tow that big beam of metal behind the land cruiser and I've been doing it for about a month just come out here every day or every couple of days when it's cool towards the end of the day and I've got one puncher in four weeks and the very first day I started doing it I got a puncher and there's so much iron and sharp metal in here and glass only got one puncher so it's quite amazing so I'll keep going and right here guys you can just see a marble that's a clay marble might be broken but I've found hundreds of these as well no it's not broken oh yeah it is it's not a clay marble but just an old glass one I'll see if we can find a clay one for you or a Bennington find quite a few of the old Benningtons as well it's glass marbles yeah, right there it's a beautiful marble look at that that is beautiful Nice, oh, it's only a small one too. So what happens guys, like I say, when the rain or the wind comes at the end of the day, the sea breeze, all of this fine dust gets blown away and it just reveals marbles. Like that marble might be like that and the wind comes and just blows it. And that's when I find nice old marbles and so forth. And also bottles and heaps of other stuff. Found some nice clay bottles too. A bit to go. So all of that area too. I'm going to grade over there, there, over there, and way over in the distance there. There's a modern dump, probably 1950s plus. And we'll go over there one day and grade that area too, where those trees are in the distance. Hopefully, find some coins, marbles, and heaps of other. I have been finding some really nice old embossed bottles. And before I sign off, fellas, you probably think that I smash heaps of bottles when I'm grading this area. I have smashed a few, unfortunately, some really nice ones, ones that I haven't even got in my collection. But 90% of the bottles around this area, guys, are already broken. And I can see when I'm grading my rear vision mirror, the bottles have been um, kind of pushed up by the grader. As soon as I see bottles coming up, um, I stop the vehicle, get out and, and collect the, them. the metal that I use, I actually, um, usually I completely load the beam full of heavy rocks and that way the beam kind of works its way down on an angle and just pulls up the bottles. But I do occasionally break the occasional nice bottle but I do find heaps of really nice ones as well. This is that big so um, heavy beam of uh, iron that I actually drag behind the back of the Land Cruiser. And it's quite heavy. I reckon it probably weigh, I reckon, anywhere between 300 to 500 kilos. So what's that? 200 to 300 pound in American um, scale or weights. So does the job and like I say guys along here I just fill it up with real heavy rocks and it goes down on an angle this is what I connect up to my chain on the back of the Land Cruiser and it actually goes down on an angle and pulls up bottles and marbles and so forth so it's and done another reason why I actually use that um, big beam of iron guys to grade is so I can just pull out all the coins relics um, dog tags, old number plates, jewellery, vintage jewellery from the um, 19, or yeah, early 1900s, late 1800s. And so I pull all this dirt and it's really, really um, quite shallow as in the thickness of the soil. So that's how deep the soil is. So it's perfect for metal detecting. And I always find some nice stuff when I come out here metal detecting as well. So it's going to keep me occupied, guys, for a couple of years, I reckon.